And the first thing we have to notice is that there are three collisions. You can hear the three collisions. Well, I can do it under this table here more slowly. You can hear the three collisions. In fact, I can use a nice big ball here. You can hear those three collisions. Okay? What happens on each one of those collisions? First collision. Now, can you see what happens? What do you notice about that ball? See what happens? It starts to spin. Now, you might think, well, that's obvious. Okay? It is obvious. Because if you imagine a wheel from a plane, a plane comes into land, and you would expect when the wheel touched the ground, it would start to spin. That's, just, that's obvious. In fact, if it didn't start to spin, you'd think there's something wrong. It looks wrong. You'd think the brakes are on or something. So we know it's, it's intuitive that that ball will start to spin. Okay? Now what? That ball is heading up towards the top now. It's spinning. Is this top spin or back spin? Now most people know a little bit about tennis or squash or, or, uh, or uh, golf or football or whatever. To know about spin. If I have backspin on a ball, then the ball comes back towards me. If I have topspin on a ball, then the ball shoots away from me. So, hands up who reckons this is backspin. Hands up who reckons it's topspin. Okay. Backspin is correct. Now, I know all you tennis players thinking this is topspin because you're used to, you know, your tennis, you know, do a top spin and you're, you're doing that and you're causing the ball to spin around like that. But hold on a second. We're aiming for the top table. Let's turn this whole thing upside down. That's top spin or back spin. We're coming in this way, spinning around like that. It's now back spin. And the ball, you would expect it to come back towards you. But, again, if we make good observations, have a look at what happens to the spin direction. After that ball bounces, can you see how the spin direction is reversed? This is just observation. This is nothing about clever science. This is stuff you can do in the playground. So we notice that the spin direction has changed. Let's, let's turn this thing back up the right way again and recap what we've seen. Ball comes in, starts to spin. It's backspin, so it comes back the way it came, spins in the opposite direction, and now we have topspin. And it's going to shoot out that way. 